I think Buffalo generally is filled with warm people, but I, I get the sense in North Buffalo that that connection is a little bit stronger. I lived out of state for a little bit, for a few months, and then that was about it. Came right back to North Buffalo, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. It is so many things. It's about the arts, it's about culture, it's about private business, it's about public business, it's about education. It's part of what we are in North Buffalo. It's a very creative community. It's gotten such a variety of things lately, it's crazy. My wife and I moved over there and we had two young children at the time and we loved the neighborhood. It was different because it was really a neighborhood. Born in 1954 on Crescent Avenue, uh, right near the zoo. I've seen it come a long way. When we were first there, many of the shops were closed. The shops were a lot of secondhand stores. 35 years ago, there wasn't as much activity. There wasn't even ice cream on Hurdle that we could walk our children to. I never could understand why such a robust residential population never had the commercial strip that they deserved. In the past decades, uh, they, they felt that there was no, no future for them here. Left a lot to the imagination about what, what could be possible there. And to see that completely shift over the last you know, 20 years has been crazy. I'm amazed, totally amazed at the transformation. Look what happened to the North Park Theater. The North Park building, which we own on Hurdle Avenue, was run down, extremely run down. And the marquee in the front of the North Park literally had three light bulbs working in it. And there was a hole in the roof that you could almost drive an Oldsmobile through. That we started to try and fix it. And then what happened was the neighborhood got involved. One gentleman paid for fixing the marquee. Another gentleman came in and said, you were doing, you're doing the fresca painting, let me pay for that. So it was really a huge community effort. I think that we residents are very involved. We have very strong opinions about what we want and what we don't want. We've seen quite a resurgence of new businesses, new bars, new, new just ideas coming up and opening up and it's, it's done a lot of good. The majority of the business owners on Hurdle, they are thriving. We get new businesses all the time. You have a lot of family restaurants, you have Costas, mm -hmm. you have Mesque, the soccer bar where people come in with their kids to watch soccer games. We were just a small Italian neighborhood restaurant where my mom was in the kitchen with me and my dad was uh, always at the bar. It became a staple for the neighborhood people. I started to see change happening and um, I wanted to be a, a part of that change with the business. We knew that with the existing shops and boutiques and some of the restaurants and bars that were already there, that that would be a good fit for us. And I think the community, uh, again, really just wanted something to happen there. All you just gotta do is look around and you can see uh, possibilities everywhere. You have to have leaders with a vision as to where is it that we need to go. What are the things that we need to do? How do we need to partner? And there's the famous Christmas walk. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing because it's like old home week. Women put on their best winter hats and make sure everything looks nice. They love it. The Christmas walk is a unique experience on Hurdle Avenue. We have done the tree lighting ceremony on Hurdle. What goes on is that Santa and Mrs. Claus are there to light up the Christmas tree and get the holiday season started for the small businesses on Hurdle and for the residents to enjoy. They can take photos, the kids get to see Santa and get a little present from Santa and share hot cocoa and cookies. And all the shops have something going on in their business. There's a shop rock and stroll that has started on um, Hurdle Avenue the last Friday of the month during the summer months. And Sarah from PS Accessory, she started that. And it's great because people they have the bands outside, they have activities for the children, and so they bring their kids, walk up and down. It's not an adult, total adult function. Although, you know, people do have their cocktails and you can stroll around and look at the shops, and it's a, it's a very nice event. The mural project was something that 
I was super amped about. You know, outside visuals and, and elements on buildings and stuff are things that uh, will really brighten up an urban environment. So to have our building, you know, be a part of that, be selected to do that, I was, you know, I was all in, hey, what can I do to contribute? The Martin House is located in North Buffalo, very close to Delaware Park, and what we love about it is that it is a wonderful national historic landmark that has been greatly supported by the entire Buffalo community, and most particularly North Buffalo. What's wonderful about it is for people, it's a great place to visit. If you care about architecture, design, landscape, it's a wonderful asset right here in this very livable community. So Albright Knox is this extraordinary uh, compilation of global masterpieces. We've been collecting contemporary art for longer than most museums anywhere in the world. And here we are in North Buffalo. There are lots of great cities with museums and culture and nature. We've got all that, but people like those in Buffalo don't exist anywhere else. The whole vibe or feel of the neighborhood, if you will, is just family friendly. Now young families are moving from the suburbs to the city. You know, the only clear opportunity to move myself forward seemed to be moving back to Buffalo. You hear people saying, oh my God, I used to live here, now I'm in Orchard Park, and I love coming back. Well, I kind of knew what it was like <laughs> to grow up in North Buffalo and what a uh, family atmosphere was like in North Buffalo, so we decided that it was the place we wanted to be. We live in this walkable neighborhood with tons of historic architecture, and it's a middle-class neighborhood. I can walk to work, my kids can walk to school, um, I see my students out and about on a Saturday or a Sunday. I actually can see the school that I work at from my bedroom window. <laughs> In the summertime when we're walking her down here to live, you and all the patios are open with all the restaurants and so forth, sometimes it takes me three hours to get home because there's so many people that you know and you're Visiting with them, stopping them, they want to see the baby. It's a wonderful combination of livable spaces, great places to play, great places to eat out, great places to have fun, be entertained, and it's a very friendly community. If I could describe North Buffalo in one word, it would be family. Vibrant. Vibrant. Destination. Eclectic. Creative. The phrase that I would use to describe Hurdle is Buffalo's last great neighborhood.